Hey guys, I'm Jane Dupree, and today I'm going to talk about some advanced position play uh, things that you should be learning as you develop your game. Uh, so the first thing I want to talk about is using bank shots to help. So let's imagine we're in a situation like this. Uh, so the situation is this. Like so. And we're right here. So in a situation like this, we normally want to go forward, but that angle is not there right now. And if it's the last four balls on the table as it is in this little setup, that's pretty disheartening. So what you need to be able to do you need to be able to bank balls. That's just a skill that you need. Uh, so how do you learn to do that? You practice. But you got to be able to play those banks so you can run out more often. And then it becomes an easier game. That's what position play is all about, making pull an easier game. Most common bank you're going to have to play is the one like this. Just the one in the side pocket, playing it fairly slow. Uh, occasionally, you'll have more dead straight end ones that you hit faster. Uh, so those are the kind of banks you need to practice. Now let's say the position is like this. I'm going to try to set up the same thing just with different number of balls. Imagine if the three balls over here. Obviously this one, don't go for a bank. If the bank is going to be harder, I mean, this was a pretty bad example. I don't know how to set up one where you shouldn't go for the bank, but don't go for the bank if it's easy. If, it's, if the bank is not easy. A bank like this, that's not one you want to have to shoot. Or something where you're elevated, that's not something you want to have to shoot either. But again, those you have to learn. Uh, so advanced position play, learn how to play those banks. Uh, let's move on to the next shot. So we're going to walk through a position shot real quick. Let's imagine you're playing on a bar table. And bar tables and pool halls are known for not being too stable. They aren't level. The cue ball sometimes veers off. So playing a shot like that, in order to keep the cue ball right there for the next shot, on a bar table, you probably can't do that. Unless it's brand new, it just got re-leveled, then you can do that. But if it's just it's some old bar table, you're probably not going to be able to do that. So a few tips. One, use some backspin. That, that's probably the simplest way to do it. What if my cue ball's on a rail? Can't use backspin now. What you do is you use a ton of topspin. Just like that. So you see how the cue ball goes into the rail. That topspin takes right here and it brings it right back into the rail. So now, you're where you need to be for that six ball. Now, if you can do this, this is the best way to avoid that situation. Hit it at a fair speed, hit the majority of the ball, but hit it slightly off to the left or the right. Just so you're able to hit it hard to where the cue ball doesn't veer off. If you hit it hard, it's not going to veer off. If you hit it soft, it will. Uh, that's what you need to remember. So if you're ever playing position, you have to hit a long, slow shot. Uh, consider trying something different. If you like watching pro pool, you'll often see that those pro players choose to go two rails over one. Uh, and that is a very, very important rule. Uh, not necessarily rule, because you have to change sometimes, because sometimes there may be blockers, you have to go a different way. 
Uh, but if you were to get down on this shot and shoot it like that, yeah, it could work. But you have to add the perfect amount of spin. If you add any less right spin, your cue ball is going to end up here. You have to have the perfect speed. Uh, and it's just, you want to make the game easier, as I said earlier. So, if you ever shoot this shot, I better be seeing you go this way. You can either go one, two, and to this rail where you have these two rails to slow the cue ball down. If you hit it too hard, you always want to hit this shot too hard. If not perfect, obviously. Or you could go with backspin and left spin. Use those two rails again to kill the speed of the cue ball. See how the cue ball was going fast, and in this rail, that left spin slowed it down. And look, we're in a dead straight line with our five ball rather than being right here as we were when we just added that top right spin. Uh, so, another instance of going two rails instead of one shot like this. Please do not shoot this shot like that. Technically, that's more than one rail. And if up there is blocked, then go ahead and do that. But if it's just an open table, it might be easier, it will be easier, for you to just roll that up, use these two rails to kill the cue ball. It's the same shot every time. You're always going to have those two safety rails to kill the cue ball. I just miscued on that, so that's why I missed it. I didn't miss that shot. My tip hit it weird. Uh, but always want to go two rails over one. Again, on a shot such as this. This ball is on the rail. Two rails instead of one. One, two. This rail, slow the cue ball down. I didn't hit it quite hard enough, but we're still really good. Now, if you went one rail, you have to have a perfect draw speed. Especially with any angle. Yeah, it's possible. Is it the best way? No. Because uh, if you practice it enough, yeah, you can shoot it like that. If you don't practice it enough, you might mess it up. Uh, so always take the safer route, which will always be more than one rail. All right, so that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please click the like button down below. If you want to be notified when I upload a new video, you can click the subscribe button, then the bell icon right next to it. That will just send you an email and a notification saying that I uploaded a new video. So guys, Real talk, we're almost at 100,000 subscribers. That is an insanely big number, and that's a lot of you people. So I genuinely want to thank all of you. Uh, we're at about 89,000 right now, something around there. I haven't checked in a while, but that's, that's probably where we are. Uh, that's a lot of people. So thank you to all of you who have already uh, watched the videos. I appreciate you more than you think, uh, but let's see how fast we can get to 100,000. I want to get there by about halfway through March, which I think we can do, but I do need you guys to share the video, share the channel with your friends, talk about it. If you talk about the channel, we're going to get there way, way, way faster. Uh, so share it on Facebook, share it with all your friends. Share it with the people in your league. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.